Hello, my name is Hudson Waller, and this is my MOS science experiment. Two common substances are salt and sugar. Other two common substances are water and vinegar. I have four cups here. A, B, C, and D. This experiment, I'm going to check back every 15 minutes over the course of an hour to see which, which salt or sugar dissolves the fastest in either vinegar or water. So here's cup A, which has water in it, and this will be having salt. Cup B here also has water, except it will be having a spoonful of sugar. Cup C here and D here, they both have vinegar. However, cup C will have salt and cup D will have sugar. So now I'm going to pour it in first for cups A and B. And for cups C and D. So now the time begins. At first, you can see that cup A looks pretty foggy. This is water and salt. Cup B, all the sugar has sunk into the bottom, and this has vinegar in it. Cup C has vinegar, and it looks slightly less foggy than cup A. And cup C also has salt. And cup D with the vinegar, yet again, the sugar has all sunk to the bottom. I'll come back in 15 minutes to check on how things are going. I'm back here looking at cup A. As you can see, it is still pretty foggy. However, it is at the point where it is transparent with a little bit of a mist. Cup B, still crystal clear at the water, has all the sugar resting on the bottom. Cup C is still about the same amount of mist with its vinegar and still with some salt at the bottom. And over here at Cup D, the vinegar is crystal clear. It is transparent, and all the sugar is lying at the bottom. All three cup, all four cups at this point are pretty transparent. However, cup C still has the most mist in the way. I will come back 15 minutes from now for an update. I'm back with cup A, which as you can see, has lost a lot of its you know, fog in it, and it's pretty transparent now. So, to see how it's contrasted, I'm going to use some green food, color, green food coloring. So here I go. Now, I'm going to let this sit for a little bit and come back to it with the contrast. Here with B, it really hasn't changed since the beginning, so I'm going to put a drop in there. As you can see, the food coloring is all strong itself to the bottom. I'll come back on that. Now we have C. Which, last time we checked, is pretty foggy, but it looks like a lot of the stuff has been absorbed. So let's try some coloring. Alright. Now with the vinegar, it's doing just about the same thing as B. However, the movement is a lot slower, and it's not really sinking too much. So we'll come back to that. And now we have D. One second. Here we go. This one, just like B, is crystal clear. So let's see what happens with the vinegar and the sugar with some food coloring. Already, you can see it's made its way to the bottom. So we'll come back soon with some results. This is the, cup, the top of cup D. You can see at the bottom where all the sugar lies in the vinegar and where most of it hasn't gone where the green food coloring has taken over. Here is B. B also had had sugar in it, had sugar in it, except instead of vinegar it had water. Without the vinegar, you can see that most of the sugar has made its way down to the bottom while 
the water, excuse me, is at the sides, and it's not very, it's not there that much. This leads me to assume the sugar has absorbed most of the water. Here is C. C had vinegar and salt. Now with the vinegar, you can see where it's crowding around a lot more in the darker areas. And, and the salt also being acidic, just like vinegar, there isn't much of it left. And in A, where the salt has con ha where the salt has absorbed most of the water, ha le left nothing pretty much but some water, some salt and water. Therefore, resulting in less thick of a of a water mixture. So you can see in here where that all the food coloring is everywhere. You can see here in A where all the salt has dissolved. Meanwhile, in C, with the vin vinegar. The salt really hasn't dissolved yet. In B, this was water and sugar. Most of the sugar has made its way to the bottom. And in D, vinegar and sugar. The sugar has made its way to the bottom for the most part. Based on this experiment, I would say that A was the least acidic because you cannot see much salt. And it's mostly just water, as all the green food coloring has completely mixed itself into it. I would also say that C is the most acidic, as vinegar and salt contain the most acidity. You can also see where it stands, a fine line where the green cannot interact at the bottom. Of at the, the end of the hour, I will now dump each cup of whatever was in it, and I will see what is left. So here is A. A contained water and salt. I dump it, and as you can see, inside of A, there is lots of salt that is still stuck at the bottom. Therefore, the salt is still there for the most part. We'll come back to that. Now, next in order was B. B consisted of water and sugar. Just like A, a lot of the sugar is at the bottom. Now we go to C. C consisted of water and salt. Oh, this is gonna smell. Yep. Mm. As you can see, a pretty good portion of the salt is still in there with the vinegar. And now finally, D. D consisted of vinegar and sugar. Just like B. The sugar is still there. They are pretty much the same, where it is a flat layer at the bottom. Meanwhile, C and A both have sort of scattered amounts. Therefore, I will conclude that the salt absorbs more, and it is more acidic. Therefore, there is not as much as it as it has gone into the water. The time of this project took me an hour and a half. Thank you for watching.